Cups are here, the cups are here, the cups are here! Well, the first shipment, so come pack an order with me. Yeah, there's a lot. Also, here's how I drink out of my cup. People are wondering. Pinkies up, bitches. So I pre-measure them before I cut. Six go on each side. These are much more temperamental to weed out. This happens to so many petals, so I have to cut out extras, which is fine. It just takes me a little longer. I'm so excited to get all these cups out to you guys. I want to get all 50 done tonight. The first 50 were people who paid priority shipping. And then I go in reverse order for the people who have been waiting the longest. Also, let's find out who really watches my whole video and pays attention to what I'm saying. Because this is a video also for a 50k giveaway, you guys. Comment a sunflower and tag a friend in the comments to enter to win a free cup. I also have two giveaways going on on my Instagram. One isn't posted yet, but the other one, the winner's chosen this Saturday. Y'all love free stuff. You got great taste. Love you guys. Bye. This is TikTok. This could be a game changer. Okay, so it's this thing called Popple and it's this little thing that clicks to the back of your phone or sticks to the back of your phone. This is how it looks. I got the little peach one. They have a bunch of different styles, like designs. And yeah, it's a sticker, so it sticks to the back of your phone case. And every time you tap this behind somebody's phone, it like transfers all your social media links, like your website, your IG, your TikTok, everything you want, it literally goes to their phone. And I thought, I was like, what the hell? Like, this is such a game changer in case you don't have, like, business cards and stuff like that on you, like, at all times. How cute. Okay, so I took my case off to try it with my sister. And look. And it opens all my social media. Like... do a quick little packaging video um so here i'm using a stamp from rubberstamps.com i love it i just got it here i'm doing a quality check um as i do with all my orders and wrapping it in tissue paper which i buy in bulk from amazon always buy in bulk trust me you save a lot of money and then i'm going to put a little sticker that i printed using my printer and avery labels um and then right next to that i'm going to put some crinkle paper that i also bought in bulk from amazon now I'm going to put in some earrings, um, so I got these cards from Vistaprint, same thing, the more you buy, the bigger deals they give you, and they give you a coupon with every order, so you always save. With every order, I do put in a thank you note, um, put a little note, and then I also put in a scratch reveal card, which I made, it gives you a little coupon once you scratch it, and then I'm going to close it off with some shipping tape I got from Sticker Mule. I have my own business check. This is my most popular product. This is my favorite product. This is one of my most expensive products. This is my most affordable product. <laughs> yes, I know they're just boys. This is also one of my favorite products. These are my newest products. Also a new product. So I decided to launch my first business and it started off really slow. I had a few people on the website and finally after a while I got one order and I was really happy. Then all of a sudden orders started coming in like crazy. I ended up selling out out of a few items. I never thought I would be able to get this many orders on my first day so if I can do it you can too. Listen up punks, if I'm on your For You page, <laughs> it's a mistake. Um, I don't know how I got there, to be honest. I think I've gotten a total of seven likes on my videos, so if for some reason I made it, and you're seeing this, just drop a heart, man. I worked hard.
go. Pinch it out. Pinch it out. Pinch it out. Picasso. So this morning I woke up to see that I had my first Etsy order. Thank you so much to Joanna for ordering from me. Um, I got straight to making her order. I started by cutting my paper to size and printing the cute pig print and here it is. Aww. And then I packaged it with some backing card, recyclable protective sleeve and picked out some cute polka dot tissue paper and wrote a thank you message on one of my thank you cards. Then I wrapped it all up and secured it with one of my stickers and I popped them in a do not bend envelope, added another one of my stickers because why not and went off to the post office. Okay, a lot of you guys are worried about my shredded money. No, I do not personally shred this. My lash business is money themed. You can get it off Etsy. And here's the reason why it's shredded. Hey, let's pack an order. Today I'm packing an order that's going off to Hawaii. I always get super emotional with every order, but especially these long distance ones. After I made each order one by one, I just placed the labels onto them. I also just expanded my candy shop, and so I'm including some goodies for her to try out. I slide my bubble wrap station over to my desk and then I just start wrapping each jar individually. Since they're made of glass and are shipping all the way to Hawaii, I just want to make sure that they have extra protection and make it safe. I apply the shipping label to the envelope now because it's easier to do than when the package is all bulky. As I'm adding each candy into the envelope, I'm marking off on the packing slip just to ensure that I have the right size and the right quantity for every order. I write a little thank you note for every customer at the bottom of each packing slip. Then I just include a little business card with my information on it, pack it all up, and once that's ready to go, I just apply one more sticker and that's it. Hi guys, let's pack an order with me. So the customer ordered a Maya zip up in a Maya tank. First I get the zip up from the rack, pick out the Maya shirt, fold the zip up into a square so it fits in the package. Then I use pink ribbon to match the tank. Fold the tank into a little taco roll, tie a little knot, pick out my bag, shove everything in, some stickers, business card, and a secret coupon. Make sure the label's ready to print, and then stick it onto the bag, and now it's all ready to go. Thank you! Glitter boots. Okay, so this is my first time doing glitter boots. It is actually for my niece. She has a pageant and her mom and dad are in the Navy. So she wanted to have her boots glittered out with a outfit that I made for her. I'm a little Navy style outfit. Um, I looked at YouTube. Everybody said use Mod Podge. I covered the entire boot in glue and then just did layers of glitter. I did two layers of glitter and then I covered the entire boot in glue and just let that sit and dry overnight to make sure I didn't miss any spots and then I went back over it. Here's the finished product. Here's my favorite TikTok ideas for small businesses. Behind the scenes, where you get your packaging from, your favorite product and why. Packaging and order, shipping and order. Watch this, y'all. It's my hidden talent. Oh, you want me to do it again? So I often get asked, like, how do you create money and make money with no money at all and start flipping? I'm gonna show you. Things like this, I look for places in my local market, like Walmart or Ross's, stuff like this, let me show you. I look for items like this right here. Selling for things like that, that's selling for 29 bucks. 
and I take it on my local Facebook marketplace and I'll relist it for 89 bucks. My Rosses has a two week return policy. So if it don't sell in two weeks, I take it back. They put money back on my card, nothing lost. These wall mirrors go really good. They're selling for $19.99. I'll put it on my local market for 69. End up selling it for 50, 60 bucks. These actually do kind of good for me too. So I'll just take pictures of them in a the store. List them on my local marketplace because I see a bunch of them. They're selling for 11.99. I'll put it up for 25 bucks. Somebody messages me. I run down to my local Ross's. You have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character. Because if you don't, Life will continue to pass you by. And all the little things that make it so beautiful will continue to go unnoticed. So take a second and look around. Let's pack an acrylic sign. Start by wiping every sign down with a damp cloth just to ensure that my fingerprints and any fallen dust are gone. I like to wrap my tissue paper like this because it creates a little pocket for me to put my care cards. I also just like making it feel like you're unwrapping a little present every time you get something from me. So after that's done, I like to grab a thank you card and write a little personalized note to the customer. Grab a care card and my logo sticker and I stick that in the little pocket we created. So my signs are made out of plexiglass, not actual glass, so the odds of them shattering in the mail are pretty slim. But I still like to make sure they're secure. So I start by wrapping them in a bubble wrap envelope that I create just to ensure that they're as snug as a bug in a rug. And they get packed in a padded mailer which is also lined with bubble wrap for extra security. And I add my happy mail sticker and a do not bend sticker. I add another do not bend sticker to the front once I add the shipping label. And then it's on its way to its new home. Thanks so much Cooper. Thank you so much for practically selling this pin out. There's only a few left. I'm gonna get more but I'm not sure when as I was not expecting this to happen. Feel free to follow so you can know when I restock. Thanks. Here's a look at how much I make when I sell something on my website for 25 bucks. So we still offer the bands listed at $25. This person used the code TikTok, so they got 10% off, which means I got 22.50. They use PayPal, which also takes a cut of 95 cents, bringing my total down to 21.55. I use Shopify to host my website. Since March 26th, I've had 57 fees for 15.70 just for using their platform, which is about 28 cents per sale, bringing my total down to 21.27. I offer free shipping on my website and the cost to ship this was 3.39, bringing my total down to 17.88. These are the boxes I use to ship out my orders. For 100, it cost me about 50 bucks. So 50 cents a box brings it down to 17.38. Taping up the box and printing the label cost me about 5 cents, 17.33. Finally, my thank you cards and stickers that I include with the orders are about 50 cents for both of those, bringing the grand total down to 1683. So if you plan on starting a business in the near future, just make sure you know the actual cost of everything so you can calculate your sale price accordingly, have a little bit of margin so you can make some profit at the end of the day. Hey guys, so if you don't have a label printer for your business, it's fine. You can just write the address labels manually. So all you've got to do is write the person's name, their street address with their house number, their postcode, the city, the county, and then the country. And then when you take it to the post office, make sure you get the proof of postage receipt to prove that you've posted it to the person. I'm back with another video and this time I'm not showing you how I package them. I'm going to show you how I put the product together when it's a custom order. So this bag, which I'm currently doing now, was ordered on our Etsy site this morning and it was posted this afternoon. So we are super quick at shipping them out, I promise. They requested a build your own pick and mix, which is in our one kilogram size. We have such a huge variety of sweets. There is something on there for everyone. We do vegan options, vegetarian options, gluten free, dairy free. So honestly, it's most likely on there. If you like it, we've got it. So as you can see, these bags are huge and perfect for sharing or just for yourself. We're not going to tell anyone. Then our bags go into the heat sealer. We heat seal them because it just keeps them so much fresher. And when you open them and peel them off, it is literally like opening a fresh new bag. And they're ready for you to enjoy. Find the one you 
you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround